What's up, my name is G Fun Supreme, represent Long Beach, California. Y'all tuned in to Cali World Entertainment and Black Rebel. Welcome to forever. Welcome to forever. Forever and a day. Forever and a day. Look, look. While my presence felt light up like a Christmas tree So many faces in disguise, I ain't talking trick or treat I swear the rest is history, cause I be here forever When the lights dim down, promise I'ma shine forever I swear that y'all gon' know my name before my time is over Name's Eiffel Supreme, how that really came about, you know It's just me being a fan of the whole West Coast movement You know, Snoop and Dre and stuff In high school, everybody was like, man, you know, you real laid back You kinda like the Asian Snoop And I was like, you know what? I want to name myself G Funk just because, like, I was, I wanted to be that cool, mellow dude that everybody knew, and I threw the Supreme on there to kind of just give it a little twist, add a little spice on it, so everybody can kind of have like a ring to your name, so they remember it better. So G Funk Supreme is kind of how it came about, and it stuck with me all the way to now. So yeah, G Funk Supreme, holla at your boy. <laughs> Back on the microphone, back with a lava flow Saying that you fly, I hit him down like Geronimo But they up in my city like a Navajo This flow is not for those Rapping about money and hoes, but I wrote this song at like 3 in the morning Knowing I should be sleeping, I got work in the morning Fuck it, a hundred miles and running Just turned a quarter century, but still keep it a hundred Like what's up to Benjamin, now I'm sticking to You know I really like started rapping like It was in middle school, my homeboy who, Who's in the sleep, group with me, Richie Rich Nowadays, you know, he, he's doing his own thing but he brought a CD with his cousins one day, uh, Skano G, Terry, I know if they watch this, what's up, y'all? But anyway, he brought a CD of them rapping one day, and it was tight. I was like, damn, man, who's these? And they were just like, oh, yeah, it's my cousins. And at first, back in the day, you didn't really hear no Asian guys rapping. So my first impression was like, damn, hey, that's tight, you know, what, what if we try to start rapping and stuff? But in middle school, you're like, what, what kind of things you really gonna rap about? I was starting to rap about girls, cars, food, you know, things that... A 13 year old, you know, little kid would talk about, well, not 13, but 10, 11 year old would talk about. And then as it got older, I took a poetry class in the eighth grade. My teacher, Ms. Martin, she taught us about how to use structure as far as freestyles, haikus, and put things into certain ways and, and try to think outside the box and paint a picture with your words. And it just kind of stuck with me, you know, going on stage, reciting these little poems. I like the outcome when people would kind of like clap their hands and tell me that it was tight and stuff like that. Now to high school, you know, you grow, you grow a little older and you mature, you got real things that's happening to you. You're going into relationships, you find with people, or you're dealing with yourself growing as a person. You got these thoughts that's going into your head and you just, you need to kind of express yourself. And for me, I needed an anti-drug to kind of block off all the negative energy that was going around in my city. So I chose rapping as one. And for the homies to tell me like, hey man, you tight, you know, you should really do something with it. You know, performing with a lot of band, man, I, I feel that the feeling is so crazy when you're there and get to experience all these live sounds and all these live, live instrumentations. Like when I went to a J. Cole concert, man, that guy can, can put on the show. Just the fact that he got a keyboard, got the drummer and everything behind him, it's just like, man, it sounds so surreal. That you just sitting in there, it's like he making the music right in front of your eyes and he got the booth on the mic and he just speaking to you. And so for me to come out with a live band, you know, shout out to the Black Noise, my homeboy Second Chronicles that been with me on stage. It just brings so much energy to people and, and so much life into the song that I feel like it's it just, it's a stage presence that's unstoppable to have a live band in and get people to feel that way, to get them bouncing this way, get them bouncing that way. So yeah, yeah I think it's dope. You know, when you're speaking on the topic of rap and hip hop, I think rap is a branch of hip hop. Hip hop is like this big old tree of, of life, if you want to put it that way. And rap is just a, a branch of that. And, and you got so many different forms of hip hop. You got breakdancing, you got people that do art, 
you got people that do uh, that make shoes, or you got people that just do anything, and you you can call it hip hop because the origin is is you expressing yourself in a way that you growing from anti-violence, you growing from all this negative energy around you, and so that's what I feel that hip hop is, and so rap is just really a, a branch of what what hip hop is. From a possible drive-by shooting in Long Beach, and police say the gunman remains at large. Long you know, Beach growing up in, a, in the east side of Long Beach was definitely a learning experience because you grown up with so many different cultures that emerges with each other, such as the Hispanics on one side, you got the African Americans, you got the white people, and you're also living within your own culture, the Asian people. Uh, definitely a learning experience because growing up it was hard. You battling discrimination, for one, racism, stereotypes, gang violence, drug activities within your neighborhood. It's just those things that growing up influence you and and prepares you for how the world really is like. You know, elementary school, I went right here down the street to Whitty Elementary, where I met most of my friends, went to Marshall Middle School, went to Poly, right here a few blocks down from where I live now. And, and you see a lot, you know, growing up, you start to mature, you start to wise up, you start to mature and see these things that happen in front of your eyes. And uh, it's definitely reality, you know, growing up, my folks came from Vietnam and Cambodia, try to make a better opportunity for themselves coming here and you, you see all these things that's happening in your neighborhood, but those are the type of obstacles that you got to fight to become successful, become, uh, you know, your anti-drug, I would say. So yeah, uh, that's, that's a little bit of the East Side Long Beach for you. These glasses sometimes wish that I could move backwards. I yeah, so right now, you know, we really focus on these visuals. I feel like solid, meaningful visuals is very strong to back up the album, back up any songs that you're putting up. So, you know, we're working on a couple of different videos right now. Cali Grammar featuring Tay of Third, Season Crackers featuring my homeboy Donovan Brown, and just a lot of different things. You know, we got a couple of shows lined up that I don't want to say too much about because it's still in the works, but you know, it's been a definite. Definitely a long ride, and I just want to shout out to everybody that's been supporting me so far. All my homeboys, all my loved ones, everybody in the city, everybody worldwide that's been playing my songs. If you don't know me, um, and if you get a chance to play the song, and if you like it, you know, shout out to you, man. You know, shout out to anybody that has an opinion on music. Shout out to anybody really that just chasing your dreams. My homeboys, the Campo Movement. Shout out to my homeboy Eric, the engineer of my whole track. All my homeboys on the east side. Shout out to. North side, the west side, south side, man, shout out to everybody. Dream chases. Look, look. Man, I swear I'm the realest that you ever know. And when you see me by the body, I'm my name and go. I'm in the city riding around in the whip. Yeah, yeah, by the way, my album, Fab Any Day, you can find that on iTunes, streaming for free, on Spotify, you can download it for free on that tip, or you can purchase your hard copies at my website, www.welcometoforever.squarespace.com. Yeah, I like your boy. Shout out to Cali World Entertainment, shout out to my homeboys, Black Rebel, for the interview, I appreciate y'all, much love. And yeah, man, shout out to everybody with a dream. As long can't nobody fit the shoes I wear. Beware, the flow I'm kicking, man, it's fresher than the newest pair And man, it feels like the longest yard I breathe life into the game like it's CPR I won't stop until I reach my goals This for the love of hip-hop, but I ain't talking about